What's going on fellow LEGO fans? It's Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the new Creator Roller Coaster. This is official LEGO set 10261 consisting of 4,124 pieces. So we're going to dive right in and start with the thing that obviously everybody has been waiting for, which is the functionality of the roller coaster itself. So we can see it's got two different carts on here with three cars per cart, and one is in dark blue and one is in light blue. I really like how there's different color combinations. This is a cool functionality here where this will actually pull out so you can switch the track. So you can run both or put one off for service. And then there's a few different functions right here. This is the main function that will actually uh, sorry, I got it plugged in um, to the motor back here, which when you turn that, that's going to spin and it's going to drive this chain here. And it's also going to turn the wheels at the top. Now, there's another one here that sort of kickstarts it, which is this wheel right here, which can be pulled in or out. Now, what that does is it actually stops the cars. So it stops them. Then there's this little level lever here in which you turn and it shoots the car forward. And then it, the track will catch it. Then we pull the next car up. Oops. And get it going before it gets crashed into. And there we go. So you can actually run both cars simultaneously. So they're both running the circuit on the roller coaster. Now you can actually put another motor here. So this wheel is constantly spinning. But... I actually like doing it, projecting it myself, so that it actually goes through the coaster. Now, what I really like about this coaster is sort of the different levels. It has lots of turns and has lots of... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Keep going here. But you can see all the different bumps and humps and everything going through the roller coaster. And it's got lots of different uh, turns and levels. Like it goes up and then it goes... Let's just take this guy off for now. Oh, no. We'll take the next guy off. Sorry about that. I sort of goofed up there, but if I actually time it right, I can get this cart flowing here and get it going up the track. And then you can get this cart flowing. Then you can pull this here, waiting for that one to come down. And back it up and switch the track real quick. And boom, now you only got one track on the coaster. So the functionality of the set is truly amazing and it the, it really does glide the whole track no problem. And boom, look at that. It's really just it's it's painless to operate. It's it's such a smooth function. The Technic runs so smooth. It's just one Technic motor that's running the chain and the wheels. I find that really cool and it just keeps going and going and going and it's endless fun to be had in the set. So that's the functionality of the roller coaster itself. And obviously when you're looking at it here, you can see the size. Like when you're comparing it to my hand, it's an absolute monster of a set. So I, I, it's huge. Can't wait to place it into my Disney amusement park, which will be my next update here on my YouTube channel. But uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at some of the details that this set has. Because besides the functionality, the size, the awesome track. There's so many details that are crammed in here from the minifigs, the cotton candy stand, the entrance, the gateway, the paths leading in behind, the juice stand, the ticket booth, the photo booth, uh, the do not stand sign, the sign itself for the coaster. It's really just the details here are just endless. So I've actually watched so many videos and done so much reading on this set. So I'm going to freestyle this review. Uh, starting right here, we got the coaster sign. What an amazing build. Look at the S. Look at the shapes of the lettering. Just immaculate. I really like this. You got those gold roller skates on there that almost look like little miniature carts that add uh, aesthetics to that S. Right in behind that, we can see the camera. So that's uh, the camera in which we'll take pictures of the people riding the roller coaster. So that's really cool. And then you can actually pick up your um, photos that you snap on that ride. It's right in there. It's going to be hard for me to get in there. But uh, it shares the booth here with this ticket stand. So on one side of the booth, you can buy your tickets. And then on the other side, you can buy... See if I can get in there. You can buy 
um, the the photos and you can actually see some of the photos on there I think there's four different ones with four different stickers right while I'm in here we got uh, right uh, down there you can see the standees so you can measure up to make sure you're the right height and that's that walkway that leads up to the um, the entrance of the roller coaster where there's also a juice stand right in behind there oops sorry for the wobbles there right there there's a juice stand and i really like the way they they almost made a an orange and a lime i believe that would be for the sign so it's a really cool juice stand right in behind that juice stand you got a custom tree this is a i think this is a new part i've never seen these leaves before it's a really cool part then we got another custom tree right over here that sort of matches and while we're here, we'll take a look at this cotton candy stand. I really like it. It's pretty funky. I also really like the trans, the pink trans piece there they use for the umbrella. It's a really sharp looking umbrella. <laughs> this is really comical right here too. If we look all the way down, you can see a little orange piece right down there. And that's where that belongs. It's actually a ball cap. So one of the uh, minifigs that was riding this roller coaster lost his ball cap, and it sits right down there. <laughs> so it's just a lost item. And then right here, we got the entrance where you can board and exit the carts. And these are little gates here. Really snazzy. Really like that. Every, really de every detail is really thought out on this. There's the operator where the operator would stand. And it's got a little height stick there, too. I like these pieces to form this little roof for uh, element shade, sunshade over top of the uh, lineup area. Then I'm going to spin it right around here. I really like this. Uh, right there, you can see no cameras, no drinks, no popsicles, no, well, no food, no babies, and no dogs. Those are all sticker pieces. And then you can see that right down there, more of that pathway where there is a little fountain and whatnot leading up to the entrance. So really snazzy. There's a lot of details in this thing. That's uh, really quite immaculate. So up here, as you get to the top, it says, do not stand. It's a sticker piece as well with the two flags. Don't want to be standing on that roller coaster. And another flag there. So I really like the accents of red with the white support beams and also this hint of blue, which is consistently found throughout the roller coaster. And the sign, it's sort of got like a line that goes all the way around. That's that dark blue color. It really adds to the aesthetics of the set. So short and sweet. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, obviously, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you can't see that's uh, Technic builds. And as for the carts, they're uh, they're pretty neat. They, uh, there's a lot of new pieces in here and slope pieces, dark blue and light blue. Let's take a quick look at the minifigs. Most of them have alternate heads. I'll try and pop the heads off here and so you can have a look at them. But you got an old man there with a sweater on. I like this guy with the shades and this chick with the hoodie. Lots of cool hair pieces. This, this one, I really like this hair piece. That hair piece is extravagant. What I really like about this set too is the employees of this roller coaster. They're wearing Lego, sorry, Lego branded. Whoa, that's terrible. Uh, Le Lego branded um, torsos. So that's really neat. It's almost like this is like a roller coaster in a, this guy doesn't want to stand up. He's got that money and it's weighing him down. We'll let him lay there. <laughs> Um, but it's got that uh, Lego branded torso. She does have that too, but her hair is actually covering it. So there we go. I got all the uh, torsos flipped around and their hair pieces off to reveal their alternate faces. So the old man's got a scared face along with the lady in the hoodie. This guy right here is unfazed. He is too cool. He's only got sunglasses and uh, that's his only face. Uh, she's a sort of a pooty face there. I'm not too sure. She's just uh, removed her sunglasses here and she's got a smile on her face now. I love this face right here. Like the about to throw up face. The best. 
And then this guy right here is looking a little bit scared, like he was on the roller coaster. And this lady over here with the cotton candy is a bit sad. So overall, I'm extremely satisfied with this set. I can't wait to place it in my amusement park. It's uh, simply amazing. It's got so much play features and just everything's there. All the details are there. You can see I got all the minifigs placed in amongst the ride. So let's see if we can get this thing going here from afar and get these carts going. It's hard filming this with one hand. <laughs> but I'm having a lot of fun, as you guys can probably tell. I really appreciate the view, guys. Have yourselves a great day. Make sure you remember to hit that big thumbs up there in the bottom right corner. And uh, stay tuned for some more great content coming here on my YouTube channel. Let's put this guy off to the side. Oh, just leave it like that while I'm smashing to one another. Here we go. Boom. But yeah, I really appreciate the view, guys, and uh, well, stay tuned for a lot more great stuff coming up here. Just received my pick-a-brick haul for my uh, LEGO train track, so I'm going to be modularizing that and building the SkyTrain right away here, guys. Have yourselves a great day. Appreciate the view, and we'll see you next time.